Okay. Hello guys, um, welcome to another Minecraft video. Um, today I'm going to be showing you my item organizer. And um, it seems really complicated, but in the end it's really just a trigger system used, shown by these wonderful snag traps, whatever they are, followed by a timing system that delays and lengthens the signal and then allowing the water to be let go so that let's say like items that fall in here can be organized as I could as you can I the, as I could say and traveled on this conveyor belt to maybe an item transfer or maybe just a collection point that you could stand at so here you go I'm gonna explain what it does so right here we have the trigger system it's made by tripwire tripwire hooks on the side and what basically it does is there's redstone on the outside of it which gets triggered when something passes through it so like let's say I am an I'm a mob and I've spawned so many blocks up and above this oops what ends up happening is that when I fall I trigger this whole thing to go on and it has a delayed timing system which allows water to pass through and move the items at fault so as you can see a pulse passes through this system and this clock which is set on full tick in case everyone anyone's gonna try to copy this but just let it be known the code juice was first but um so as an example I throw a snowball in there and it starts to transfer it now obviously this isn't hundred percent efficient because if one item falls in there or one mob which is what normally triggers it but an item can trigger the tripwire system too but if one mob does fall in there you're not going to get the item because unless he falls very near the very edge but that's because like there isn't enough time in the clock because like if I were to just keep lengthening this the signal would die anyways before it got here meaning that once the signal gets all the way out here here let me just put a block through here once the signal reaches the very end here the length of redstone wire required to reach here becomes too great and it turns off before this clock is finished so it basically makes the end of it irrelevant if that makes sense so the idea behind this is that basically this is a mob spawner thing and like you just gotta have mobs keep falling in here and eventually the items will fall down now what you're thinking maybe thinking is what if they hit the water they won't die well mobs don't spawn that fast so that's why it's essential for it not to be too long anyways so like in the amount of time that it can move the item there might it only waits a certain time so that another one can spawn and that way it doesn't half die because if you have a half dead monster sitting in this he's just gonna get caught at the collection point and you don't exactly want that do you no you don't so um yeah let me know if you guys want to actually see something of a tutorial in this thing oh come on you stupid I don't care um yeah, let me know if you guys want to see a tutorial on this, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.